Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome. I have an interesting slide x-ray that I'm going to show and it's basically what's happening to you if you're not careful and I just want to explain like all the terrible things that happen if you don't do something about your forward head posture and your cervical instability. So let's be honest, there, there is now more subscriptions for cell phones than there are people on the planet. So there's something like seven or eight billion cell phone subscriptions like in the United States. So basically everybody has a cell phone. You know, and I know there's parts of the world that, where there's poverty and of course they don't, but you know, between a business account, home accounts, personal accounts, like, you know, there, there just is so much cell phone. So we're doing more and more stuff on the cell phone. With the cell phone, and, and you know, we've all done this and the person has forward head posture. So. In other words, the normal cervical curve, how God designed the human body was to have a normal lordotic curve where the weight of the head is behind the curve. But when you look at a cell phone, this is basically what's happening. And then eventually you get so much ligament laxity where then when you're upright, this is literally how you are. So in other words, the cervical curve is reversed. And what happens long term is you end up like this gentleman where your C1 is a full three inches in front of where it's supposed to be. And what ends up happening is that those three inches cause unbelievable stretching of the spinal cord. So this person has basically very little control of their legs. They have basically very little control of their legs. So that's going. Then when we did the neck vital analysis on the person, they have increased intracranial pressure. Then if you looked at their MRI, it was terrible. Their MRI of the brain was terrible. They had all these white matter lesions, white matter lesions, which on the MRI report, they said, oh, this is suggestive of small vessel disease. It means that the white matter, the cortex of their brain is getting destroyed. Then if you looked at the sulcuses of their brain, they're really wide, meaning that the person's brain tissue mass is just plummeting. So in other words, they don't have Alzheimer's yet, but they're on the brink. They're on the brink. So, so this is really serious stuff. It's really serious stuff. So in other words, this is what the person's static x-ray looks like. He, the person's almost fused into this position. You could see here there's a disc, right? Here you can barely see the disc. There's so much bony osteoarthritis or bone spurs where the whole thing is fused together. So there's people that the bottom part has all fused together. All these vertebrae have moved forward and it's doing what? You know, it's obstructing the carotid sheath. In the carotid sheath, is the main arterial supply to the brain, which is the carotid arteries, and it's the main drainage port of the brain, which is the internal and jugular veins. So the person's on the cell phone, all of a sudden there's so much neurologic activity because the first time in history, we're getting inundated with thousands and millions of images and all those neurons, it, it's, a, it's a high energy cost. The cost of neuron activity compared to other cells can be 2,500 times greater. So in other words, the brain, which takes up 20% of the cardiac output, it only weighs, the brain only weighs 2% of the human body, but it takes 20% of the blood supply, 20% of your blood supply. And then beside that, it's just, there's so much neurologic activity because of the cell phone, all these images that have to be processed and all, so you can understand that the arterial supply with all that nerve activity should go way up, but it, the arterial supply is going way down because the carotid sheath's getting compressed because of the terrible anatomy, which we call cervical destructure, broken neck structure. This person, neck structure is so broken because of the use of the cell phone over the last 20 some years. And again, this person might add a car accident or this or that, but most of this is just from excessive forward head posture. Okay, so the arterial supply goes down, the, but the arterial supply needs to go up, so that's one problem. Then the brain can't drain. Well, 
all this cellular waste, it can't get out of the brain. So what's going to happen? The pressure inside the brain is going to go up and the pressure eventually causes the neuron cells to die. When the neuron cells to die, we call that brain degeneration or brain atrophy. And long term, that does what? Your memory starts going and eventually a person can get diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I'm not saying all Alzheimer's disease is from this. Obviously, there's a lot of research on it, but this obviously contributes to it, if not causes it. So this is a very serious problem. All you guys out there, you have got to get a lateral C-spine x-ray, cervical spine x-ray. I would really encourage it. I'd really encourage it because if, you're, if you have a reversal of your curve, you're well on your way to this. And I'm just telling you, if you don't want to have all these weird neurologic things, and you know Alzheimer's disease used to be non-existent. Now it's like, you know, it's practically like every other person's going to get Alzheimer's disease. And anybody who's had a loved one who suffered with that, their heart can be fine and they can live 10 years and they don't even recognize you. So, you know, it's really, really serious. So let's do something about it. So the thing to do about it is with your workstation, make your workstation where you're standing up, right? You're standing up, you're not hunched over because when you stand up, your posture is better. Then, you know, lift your chest up and then just have your computer system a little bit higher. Don't, don't, don't look at it like this, like, you know, look at it like that. So in other words, all day long, you're helping your posture. Then when you use cell phones, don't be like this for hours and hours. You know, it's okay once in a while. Uh, get some prism glasses, then laying on your stomach when you use your cell phone. Nowadays, the albatross of most of us is our necks, so we just gotta put our necks as a priority. I hope this helps and uh, we wish you the best of health.